And that was Jessica Dawn with her song, Boomerang, and she's joining us here in the studio now. Hi, Mary. Thank, how are you? Thanks for having me. I'm glad you're here. You know, so my glad. mom's name is Mary. Is it really? Yeah, I love that name. Well, we have all kinds of Marys here today, so there yeah. you go. All kinds <laughs> of connections. And I'm feeling Mary, so there you go. Well, there you go. <laughs> all kinds of alliteration plays on words, too. Yeah. <laughs> so you're kind of a more of a rock Rock and kind of singer. Is that the genre you put yeah, yourself in? Yeah, singer songwriter um, with pop, maybe a pop rock. Yeah, pop genre. Rock. It's all you know, blending together yeah. these days, crossing over. And, but I would definitely say more of a pop rock. And you're from Virginia Beach, Virginia originally. Yes. And then you decided to come to Nashville with your pop rock and not with your country. Not with my country. Yeah. So tell us about that. Well, like why that choice? I think country is just what's publicized. Yeah. I think once you live here and you talk to other people that have been here, which is what I did before I moved, I kind of did my research. There's all kinds of music. There's, you know, there rock is. bands. There's an indie alt scene. There's, you know, you got blues and punk. I mean, just there's every genre here. It really is. And people yeah. don't know about that. Yeah. So we're and ultimately, them. <laughs> it's about being a songwriter. And yes. if you're a really good songwriter and if there's good songs, they can almost play to any genre. That's true. That's kind of like how... And this is definitely a great place to be a singer-songwriter because there's so much yes. creativity and, yes. and things like that. So inspiring being here and there's so much talent. It's awesome. Yeah. So where can people, if they want to come hear you play, which I'm sure they will, so where can they find you generally playing at? Oh, gosh. The... I've pretty much played everywhere but the Ryman. Oh, that's... <laughs> Bow down to the Ryman. But it's, all, it's because I've been here for 12 years. So I've pretty much oh, wow. played like every writer's night and every... Uh, bar and venue. And wow. So, so but, but you keep hustling. it really well updated on your website with the, which is yes. Yeah, so if, Jessica yeah. Dawn rocks. Did I get that Je right? Jessica. Well, I try, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jessica Dawn.com. Oh, okay. And, um, and then you can see my upcoming shows on there. Jessica Dawn.com. Yes. That's great. And that's very well updated. I was looking all over it. So good. So tell us yeah. about your process. You, you write your own songs. I write my own stuff. Yes. Um, well, I started when I was eight. Um, melodies would just kind of come to my head and yeah. and then I would use a little bit of the piano and the keyboard to try to make sense of it at such a young age and um, I didn't totally comprehend what I was doing but well, I was no. just creating I was yes, I was great yeah and I almost thought it was normal like oh, doesn't everyone have songs just, come to their heads yeah. and, <laughs> and write them down <laughs> yeah I started not. recording them and <laughs> so um, and then I, I taught myself guitar later when I was 17 and that was a better songwriting tool yes. to really have the creativity come out and um but yeah, yeah I mean it's just uh it's a it's almost like a therapeutic magical experience and it sounds kind of cheesy but it is it's like almost otherworldly it's just right. the, the music will come to me I'll be like driving or in the shower yeah. or I'm about to fall asleep and I'm like oh I have to get up and record this because right. I might lose it <laughs> oh that's great yeah and so and sometimes the songs come when I'm actually playing the guitar too right. i'll like have a chord progression and that too is magical it just kind of happen i'm like oh this sounds good and i'll just start singing the melody and then yeah, yeah it's it's and definitely a gift that is fantastic and then there's you were, you were talking to me on facebook a little bit about how there's so much more to it also you don't just yeah. get to show <laughs> oh, yeah. up and yeah you know just everything happens for you and all of a sudden you're a star there's a whole lot of, of course pounding the payment you've been here for 12 years doing that and that's very yes. typical yes i've I've heard that sometimes it even takes a decade before you're really even. Well, it's true. And I think yeah. a lot of people don't talk about that. They, don't, they yeah. don't realize that there's not really too many true overnight successes. Because right. if you look at the history, usually that person who has you know, had a, a good amount of success has right. probably worked their butt off. Absolutely. You know? And that's what you have to do. You have to hustle. It's, I, I like to use the word hustle because that's yeah. what it is. You're Absolutely. constantly you know, trying to create opportunities. And I believe that the more opportunities you create the more opportunities present itself so you've got to like you know kind of meet in the middle a little yeah. bit of fate and a little bit of what Absolutely. can you do yourself and just get so, out there and work hard so if I were like a singer songwriter and I was moving to Nashville what would you say would be like something that I should really know like things that I like maybe things that I would really need to um, be good at or it's not just about singers you know singing and songwriting what mm, there's what a lot of recommend? things a lot of things come to mind um, you have to be persistent because yeah. you're always going to have challenges. You're always going to have, you know, people saying this or that, having an opinion, or you might even have people that, you know, try to block you or bring you down. Sure. Um, you got have to kind of be your own manager and your own best friend. Um, and the and manager's in my case, probably not something you think about. <laughs> like, oh, I got to do it all on my own. I know. Well, someone's got to do it. I mean, right. uh, 
and to be honest, a lot of times you have to book your your own shows. I've been booking my own shows, so you got to sure. wear the manager hat and and the promoter hat and right. all these kinds of hats. But the manager um, and the promoter. But I would definitely say persistence and uh, and do your own technology too. Sometimes yeah, the web design and yeah, I mean just you gotta you gotta stuff. just do it all. You know. Okay, well we only have a couple minutes left, but oh, I have a really okay. fun game that I want to play with you. Are you ready? Oh for yeah, this? yeah, let's do it. Okay, do so it. I have some single. I'm an actress, so I have some single actor friends, especially who um, will say things uh -oh. like they just don't think that there's, you know, any single women out there at all. But, you know, oh, here no, you are. Oh, no, we exist. Awesome. We might be inside a writing friend. a song. But. That's right. So friends <laughs> tell me they're as uncommon as unicorns. So that's really interesting. Oh, wow. Well, so I, I'm gonna I'd ask like to you. know where all the single men are. I know, are, exactly. I know, I know. So they're going to ask me about you. So I'm just going to have you tell them about it right now. So what's your favorite, like, favorite restaurant, date night restaurant? Favorite restaurant? You then might laugh because the first thing that came to mind is Chewy's. Chewy's. I, I love Mexican. I love Mexican. That, that white jalapeno That's sauce. That's not Chill. bad at all. Chill and festive. Okay, so what movie genre would you want to go see? What movie you want to see? Um, I I love. I'm hardcore with movies, so I love all different genres. I know that's kind of lame, but I, I do it. love uh, suspense thrillers and I love um, action. Cool. So I'd rather if, see that than a <laughs> suspense. So if he bashes cats, is that okay or not okay? <laughs> <laughs> bashes cats. Can he bash cats? That is Make not okay. Cats? No, he's That's out okay. of there because I love, love animals. I okay, no, the cats. no cat, no cat yeah, bashing. I'm sorry. What about, would you rather date a guy who rides a motorcycle or a guy who plays drums? Ooh. Motorcycle or drums? I would say drums because I love the drums. Okay. But I have been on a motorcycle before. Okay, what's more annoying, bad breath or B.O.? Oh, they both stink. I, I know. <laughs> what is more annoying? Well, I guess you could take, you could use gum you That's, can't okay, so really bad breath is better. Stick on the fly. Last right? question. Oh. What about okay? If he would you rather have someone who drank straight from the milk carton or someone who left his dirty socks on the floor? Both annoying. Mm, probably dirty socks. Dirty socks. I just say, okay. Pick them up. Someone there you got it. Up. Nobody asked me about her. I'm I pretty just low told maintenance. You. I'm pretty low maintenance. <laughs> and yeah. if you want to find out anything else about Jessica, you can go to jessicadon.com or for all her social media links, and she has a whole bunch of them. So thank you yes. so much for and joining I have some us today. Up, so come out. Yes, and you have one more song to play for us. Yes. So let's go do that. Let's do it. Okay. Thank you for watching this interview from Music City Corner. You can view more interviews and performances by clicking right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also be sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Instagram, and of course, musiccitycorner.com.